Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. We are here another Sunday to give God the glory, to lift up, to adore his name. Praise God. We do understand that, yes, we are still going through this virus, but God ought to be praised. His name is worthy to be glorified. So we are here in our home to bring a word to empower, to encourage, and to lift your spirit. But before my sister come to deliver the word, praise God, I'm just going to read this scripture, and I would also like to bless you with a song, because I believe the song will testify to, to what God has laid in our heart. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to read from Galatians 6, reading from verse 9. Praise God. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap it if we do not lose heart. Praise the Lord. I have no right to the song, but I believe it will be a blessing.
coming to you so before the speaker come to deliver what the spirit have laid on our heart to bring across to God's people I will lift up a prayer praise the Lord hallelujah Heavenly Father creator of the universe God we give you praise we give you thanks we glorify you we exalt you we honor you Lord we thank you for this hour we thank you God that you're in control we thank you, Lord God, that you come to deliver and to heal. And so, Father God, as you have laid your word in your daughter, Father, we are not here praying, oh God, for the word, but we're praying for the instrument, oh God, that you have given, oh God, to us, Lord God, to deliver the word, which is your daughter. And so, Father, we pray that you will anoint her from the crown of her head and to the sole of her feet. I pray, God, that as she open her mouth, oh God, the word will come forth with power. The word will come forth with life. The word, oh God, will bring forth healing and deliverance to your people. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you will anoint your vessel. You will touch her. Oh God, your spirit will be in her. And so, Father, your divine will will be done through her. Father, we put your daughter in your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. I present Cheryl to you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of Jesus. It's not over now. Amen. Wherever you are in your own home, praise God, whether you're on the street watching this video, I want you to put your hands on yourself and I want you to say, it's not over now. It's not over now. This is not the end. This is not Praise over. God. We know that COVID-19 is around us We're in every country. And not just COVID-19, but our own personal circumstances. Yes. Praise be the name of Jesus. But I just want to let you know, it's not it's over, over now. Amen. Praise God. So the word that I will be bringing to you is title don't give up mm. god is not finished with you mm, don't give praise up. god let no. me just say that again don't give up god is not finished with you mm. topic your breakthrough is coming amen your breakthrough is coming amen. hallelujah praise god i want you to digest these topics and title and I want you to digest the word when you hear a word and it's it's positive uh, it's important for you to listen with all of your understanding and allow your body to digest it like a good meal Accept it. hallelujah Amen. praise God because I wanted to bring life to your circumstances Amen. today Amen. so when there is fear praise God or uncertainty around you you feel overwhelmed by things repeatedly happening and feel like there is no end to your sorrow. Don't give up. Mm. Your breakthrough is coming. Amen. Praise God. The word don't give up means to persevere, all on, carry on, stay committed, mm. don't let go. Amen. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. And praise God in my, praise God, understanding of these oh god words when you hold on to something positive mm. it doesn't matter the storm clouds praise god it doesn't matter the opposition mm. it doesn't matter the circumstances mm. you're not gonna allow what is around you to let go of the source that is important praise god to you Amen. hallelujah but i want to bring a story and it's a story that we have heard, oh God, many times preach, praise God, or exhort, or testify about. Yes. Praise God, and it's a story 
of Job. Mm. I just want to give you an understanding of what this man in his time went through. And he have an understanding of the God that he put his trust in. That he needs to own on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But before I actually give you a, a, a look at his full story, I want to read it to you. Mm. So you can understand his journey. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So Job 1 verse 13 to 22 tells of a story of a man who had a painful experience in his life that could give him the right to give up in or a sum of throw in the towel mm. so the, the the situation that was in job life could allow him to let go as you heard praise god the meaning mm. to give up mm. or otherwise as we would say throw in the towel yes Praise God. Don't want to continue mm. anymore. Mm. Praise be the name of Jesus. And there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and asses feeding beside them. Mm. And the sword being fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and only I am left, or I'm only the one who escaped to come and give you back this news. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And while he was yet speaking, praise God, there came also another and said, The fire of God is falling from heaven, and I burn up the sheep mm. and the servants and consume them. And I only am um, escaped alone to tell thee. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Can you imagine? imagine. Amen. Praise God. Repeatedly. Mm. It's not just one incident, mm. but here comes another. He didn't even get the chance to digest the first one. Here comes another one, and it's another negative. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. And while he was yet speaking, there came also another mm. and said, The Chaldeans made all three bonds and fell upon the camels and have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and only um, escaped alone. To tell thee. Mm. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy son and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest bro brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from wilderness and smote the four corner of the house, and it, praise God, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. Mm. And I only have escaped alone to tell thee. Mm. Praise be the name Jeez. of Jesus. Amen. When you look at the circumstances mm. that surround Job's life mm. and all of the message or the news that was given to him, mm. praise God, was something that could allow, praise God, his body, mm. praise God, to go into a state of giving up, mm. letting go, Amen. throwing in the towel, yes. praise God. But as my team said, don't, don't give, give up. up. God is not finish with you yet. Mm. Praise be the name of Jesus. Your breakthrough is coming. Okay. Praise God. What is your circumstances? What is your sorrows? Mm. What is your pain? Amen. What is your trouble? Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. You heard the story of Job. Mm. Praise be the name of Jesus. And his response, praise God, to this trouble. Mm. Hallelujah. And praise God. Job, then Job arose and rent his mantle. And shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshiped. Mm. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Job worshiped. Mm. He heard bad news. Yes. He rent his garment. Mm. He shaved his head and he worshiped. And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb. Mm. Naked shall I return thither. Mm. The Lord gave and the Lord had taken yes. away. Blessed be the name of the, the Lord. Lord. In all this, Job sinned not, mm. nor charged God foolishly. Job held on. Yes. 
it all down to something greater Amen. than what his trouble looks like mm. in the natural sense of a human eye. Praise be the name of Jesus. In our timing, praise God, these sort of trouble, mm. oh God, will allow us to curse God, mm. allow us to want to let go, mm. allow us to want to give up mm. or give in yes. or throw in the trouble. Mm. But here comes a man with a great story, yes. greater than what we have ever faced in our life, mm. and is respond to God. Mm. Is worship. Amen. Don't give, give up. up. God is not finished with you yet. Amen. Praise God. You may be saying, praise God. Well, this is a story mm. of long, long, long time ago. Mm. Praise God. You may be saying in your heart, is this story true? Mm. What is happening in our 21st century? Mm. Is there a story that we can line I'll up to it. or acquaint our life to? Mm. In our time, mm. we heard of this story and this story was before I was born. Mm. I wasn't there to witness it or the man is not here to tell us. Uh, mm. Praise be the name of Jesus. But I'm going to tell you of a 21st century experience like Job. Mm. Praise God. I know probably some of you may not know her. Mm. Praise God, but if you check on Google, mm. if you check on mm. YouTube, YouTube, praise God, you will see her story. Mm. I'm sure she's not mine, me telling her story, mm. because she is our 21st century, century. Job. Mm. Praise God, here is a woman called Glacia Robinson. Mm. Praise God, after she had went into a, a gospel contest, contest or mm. competition, mm. praise God, she had ministered so beautifully. beautifully. Praise God, and she had won the competition. Praise God, on our life in the gospel. Mm. Oh, God, foundation has been growing mm. and things have been going good for mm. her, but the enemy didn't like it. Yes. Hallelujah. The Amen. enemy rose up against her. Praise God, the enemy. Oh, God, strike her with sickness. Yes. Here comes a woman who was doing great for God. Mm. Here comes a woman yes. who has dedicated her life to God. Amen. Here comes a woman who has put her trust in God, God. and suddenly there comes a sickness. Mm. No doctor in Jamaica mm. could tell her what's wrong. Mm. She went to America. Mm. No doctor know what's wrong. Yes. They said prepare for funeral. Mm. Prepare to go to the grave. Mm. But she hold oh, on God. to her God. Yes. She said in God I put my I trust. trust. Uh. And for five years mm. she was in sickness. Yes. Buckling with the enemy. Mm. Buckling with forces. Mm. Buckling with darkness. Mm. But one thing she didn't do. She didn't let go. Oh, she didn't give up. Mm. She hold on on to mm. Jesus. Mm. She hold on to her faith. Yes. She hold on to what she know from her childhood yes. that there is a God yes. and there is a Savior. Hallelujah. And there is something greater for her. Amen. And she hold on. Amen. Here is your 21st century Job. Yes. She is still here mm. to tell the good news. Yes. Our victory, mm. our deliverance, mm. our breakthrough mm. has come through. Yes. Praise God. So I give you this uh, as I gave you the old, praise God, mm. testimony of Job. Mm. Job breakthrough came through. Mm. And what Job has lost, mm. God doubled it. Amen. Amen. He tripled it. Amen. He multiplied Amen. it. Amen. Praise God. It was greater than the former mm. because Job didn't curse God. Mm. He didn't let go of God. Mm. He didn't give up of God. Mm. He didn't throw in the towel. Amen. But he hold on to his sickness. Mm. He hold on to his persecution. Amen. He hold on to his loss. Oh, no, and no. so is Glacia Robinson. She didn't give up. Mm. She didn't throw in the towel. Oh, no, she no. didn't curse God and mm. die. Mm. But she hold on oh, to God. Amen. Oh God, on her breakthrough did come. Yes. So whatever your sickness is, is whatever your sorrow is, Amen. whatever your loss is, Amen. whatever your trials mm. is, whatever your persecution mm. may be, remember if you hold on to God. Amen. Your victory, yes. your breakthrough mm. is on the way. Don't give up. Mm. Don't give in. Mm. Don't let go. Mm. God is on the way. Mm. Praise God. Remember that there is a Savior. Yes. Remember that he loves us with an everlasting yes. love. It doesn't matter what the situation looks like now. Mm. God is coming through. Amen. As the title and the team suggests, don't give up. Mm. God is not 
finished with you yet. Amen. Praise God. Your breakthrough. Mm. Your breakthrough. Amen. Your breakthrough mm. is coming. Amen. May you be blessed. Amen. May you be encouraged mm. that don't let go. Mm. If you don't let go, Amen. you will receive. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 It's not over it's now. It's not over. It's not over now. Don't give up. Don't give up. Up, amen. Praise God. Doesn't matter what you are facing. Praise God. The word come to you today to let you understand that. So as we read in the Bible, praise God. And I know many might be saying the story is of old. Praise God. But we tell you of a story. Praise God. That is that has happened in our time. Praise God. So don't give up. Don't give up. No matter what the circumstances, never give up. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. The situation around you might look like it is over. But if you hold on to the source, which is Christ, continue to walk in the light. Don't let the darkness overpower you. Or overtake you it is not over it is not over praise God and I know this word is a blessing because it has blessed me it has touched me it has empowered me it has strengthened me to let me understand that doesn't matter what my circumstances is God is still in control and it is not over all I need to do is to hold on and don't give up. God bless you. God keep you. God strengthen you. Keep on keeping on. Keep on standing firm. Keep on standing strong. Don't let go of your faith in God because he's just round the corner. The writers say four days late, but just in time. God loves you. And for those who have not tasted and see that the Lord is good, come and taste. Come and taste. Because when you taste Him, you will have an experience that will transform you, that will strengthen you, that will change circumstances, and that will give you peace that earthly things cannot give. I read up a story of a wealthy man, and he was in Christ, and he come to the knowledge that his wealth wasn't able to buy him health. So never let go of God. Keep on holding on. God bless you.